Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Answer 2 again. Where today you join me back on Harrowthorpe where I'm just driving this route, the second new one, because we had a couple of issues with the upload today that's on Christmas Day, with some of the objects not being included and some other things, etc, etc. So I've decided to release a bit of a fix update thing that includes some fixes to the map. It includes um, some, also some scenery objects and splings that weren't included. And, as a bit of a treat to you all, I've decided to include the newest route to have a fop, the R11. Something else that's going to also be quite good is in this update, you are also going to be able to have a look at the new guideway that I was showing you. So, all you guys who have been looking forward to having a look at that, you'll be able to test drive that out for me and see what you think. So, hopefully that will be quite, quite interesting to watch. So, let's begin. So, because... Previously, I didn't include it in the release, so I decided that I think it'd be quite a bit of a treat for all use if you get to have a little drive on that map, that route. So all the parking ride area is included on it, so I do look forward to that and driving on that. And hopefully this time, cross fingers, everything is included. That was a bit of a slam all along. More. I need to get out of here before the X11 turns up, I would have a chance. So I haven't updated the tickets at all, as, as I said they will be coming in version 1. But I also had someone saying, asking about the copyright of these Hello. things. As far as I'm aware, 100% as I'm aware, all the add-ons used in this from this update forwards will not have any issues with copyright. I'm not sure if before it did, so I've got rid of a few things that might entail that. But apart from that, everything that is included shouldn't have any issues with copyright. So, if it does, please do let us know. I, I, I'm quite annoyed that I did get that kind of comment, but at least it got me making me aware of those kind of things. So. I need to turn down traffic. I don't know why I'm constantly on the traffic on the pool. So I really do need to turn it down. It's just you really good idea turning it up when you're going on the guideway, but apart from that you really need to turn it down when you get stuck in traffic oh, like I do. But if you do like getting stuck in traffic like I do, then please do um, put your traffic up. It's quite interesting, but when you're recording videos I don't recommend having your traffic up because you could be stuck in queues for 20 minutes. Minutes, half an hour, so. I'll fix this, there we go. If I turn those settings right down, then we should be alright. Professional on this channel. Professionalisation. So yeah, I was supposed to be uploading a Christmas special, but I got the whole special completed and everything. But unfortunately, I had a couple of issues uploading it, and YouTube decided to, um, even though I'd uploaded it and scheduled it for around half nine this morning, YouTube decided that it wasn't going to let me upload it and it deleted the whole video so it was a shame it was going to be a nice Christmassy Omsi 2 and Train Sync collab again so I'll probably record it for a later date maybe New Year's or something New Year special so I think that'd be quite nice if I do I 
the ALX300 is quite a nice box. I really do like it. And the repaint of the speckle um, was the person who I'm going to be leaving their name in the um, description of the video. Um, who've made this repaint, this first Olympia, first Barbie for the ALX300. They've also made Becca first Barbie repaint for the ALX400 and the first Olympia for the ALX400. Some of these repaints, look, is, if it comes, is the first Barbie one. It's overwrited my files, but if you want to use my repaint, feel free to do so. But it's quite a nice repaint, as conveniently as that went past. Um, but yeah, as I said, the repaints, like, like that example I use now, and the ALX300 is now used on AI instead of the B70, partially because the destination works in AI, that's the main reason, but because the repaints are really good as well. So credits go to him for the AI traffic, AI buses, ALX300 and ALX400 traffic. So I will be leaving his name in the um, description. I don't know why they want to get off the bus. I thought they were going to store, but it beats me. Beats me. Hallo. Einen Einzelfahrschein, bitte. Danke. Yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy this new route, the R11. I've just added it basically because I feel a bit bad that the map didn't work at the beginning and there was a few issues. So this is just a nice extra route just to, just to keep you busy, as well as the bus guideway being added. Uh, I'm quite unsure about but I do hope you guys enjoy. I think it's going to be quite exciting for you guys to finally drive the fully functioning guideway that's going to be used the route soon. So if you do have any suggestions of what buses or bus routes that could go on the bus guideway, please do let us know in the comments or if you have any other ideas for the map, do let us know in the comments. So, I'm all in for ideas. I have used ideas before and I'll use them again. So that's where the R10 starts. We don't stop anywhere around here. We have a limited stop service if you didn't notice with me stopping at specific stops. So I do recommend checking your schedule before setting off on these bus trips as there's good as most journeys and services do only serve specific stop, stops. So those specific stop services are really services like the X11, the school runs and things. So they're mainly those on the serve specific stops from the rail replacements and the up and further updates will as well. I might release updates in between because I'm going to be doing a lot of work on the map just to keep you guys busy with the map. So hopefully I'll keep going. If there's any more people like saying things and um, complaining about the map, I'll probably will just stop progress at the map simply because there'll be too many people commenting with more issues than the map positives. So if I do get to that stage, just a warning now that the map progress will probably be stopped. So just a little warning. I don't want to say that like, but it will happen if, if I have too many issues. And I may have to turn the map private. Well, Things like that, things like that that I really didn't want to mention, but unfortunately I'm going to have to mention because it's 
too much because if I get too much people complaining then I will eventually just stop the progress it be simple, simple as that uh, it's a community thing, so if the community ruined themselves because if one person ruins the community, the, com the community is ruined for this add-on, simple so I do apologise that I've had to say it that way but the honest truth has to be spoken I really do apologise But anyway, on a more positive note um, We've got some more games So I don't think I've mentioned them I've got, I went out today in the Christmas sale And spent some of the money and buying some new games So the games that I've got are Taxi That's 39p at the moment until the 4th of January It's usually around 3 99 I think It's basically a game where you can drive in three areas You can drive in these like, New York taxis or German taxis or British taxis and you've got to transport people to different areas of the city and you own taxis and you expand your business so it sounds a different game we'll definitely be having a look at it I've had a little play it's quite good Gary's mode I haven't had a play yet but from what I've gathered it's a pretty decent pretty decent game I'm not letting them off because the next stops the school and we've got them jumping off the ball of school. Um, the next game that I've got is an update for Train Simulator 2016 as I did buy the update. I bought it now seeing as it was very cheap um, so, in, so we'll be able to drive some of the newer routes. Um, as I say I've got the Gary's mod that as I say I can't install yet but I've got it. So at one point when I have enough disk space it will get installed. So it's like a really um, imaginative game from what I've gathered. So some of, some of like Mr. Crazy Chicken has it, so we'll hopefully be doing some more club videos with that. Uh, um, <clears throat> I keep keep forgetting old games that I've got. Um, and then I got Colin McRae's car rally thingy um, that was on the 99 p so I got that. I don't know why all these people are wanting to jump on. That's going to be a little glitch with this one that one because I changed how the how everything works. So I'll just let them off here. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it was a bit negative. I know it's Christmas and I'm not happy how negative it was, but I had to mention those things. Is I have had a few negative comments in regards the video the upload so far so anyway i do hope it wasn't too darkening i'm hoping for some more positive videos in the future so thank you guys for watching please do like and subscribe if you do have a question suggestion or need a download don't hesitate to ask me in the comments and thanks again for watching and i do hope to see you in the next video i make goodbye for now